Hey guys, this is Adam Lane with PocketNow.com. We've gotten some requests uh, looking for you know, what the real Facebook looks like on Windows Phone 7. So we've got it loaded and uh, let's check it out. So here it is launching. We're gonna do a little bit of loading. Here we go. And here we are. You also see some little dots up there. It's still loading a little bit of more information. There's my uh, profile picture. And we have a menu comes up right away. And these are your options. And we can swipe. We can get to the top news. Okay, lots of cool stuff there. and you can add comments or like certain posts up here you can add a post and there's only one extra button there for adding a picture so you can add a picture that you've already taken and this button will uh, let us open the camera to take a picture in order to add it to Facebook so let's go back unfortunately that's the only thing you can add really uh, pictures. You can't paste a hyperlink, you can't upload a video. But uh, there's other cool things here. Here's our photos, you got some recent pictures from your friends, you got pictures that people tagged of me. Got some more over there. And then we're at events. So this is good to have. It's not really, it's not integrated with the native Windows Phone 7 uh, calendar. And we can Go to one of these events and get some more info on that. And down here we can say we're attending or maybe or no, we're not going to that. So there's a concert. There's no way to uh, add this to your calendar. Here's the wall for that event. Who else is going? Anyway, that's that. So you got events and you got birthdays all right there. Then we got notifications. So you can tap on that to see what they're talking about. Sometimes it doesn't work. There we go. <laughs> you can see the little dots that's loading the picture. Got to give it a minute. There we go. So there's a picture somebody tagged in. Down here you got some options. You can comment, you can like it, you can go to the previous or next, and you can show tags. Let's hide those. So you can comment. I'm not going to load these comments. I don't know what those are going to be. Uh, let's get back out of there. And then we're back to the beginning. And you can Go to your inbox, you can see your messages, there's your events and your friends. Here's your profile, you can see requests, friends, friend requests. Some notes and settings, let's look at the settings. Automatic refresh, you can set that to whatever you want. You can confirm exit, and you can enable shake to refresh, so you just shake it to get some more info. Update your timeline. And under friends, I was wondering where the search is. So, and here it is. That little button at the bottom. Okay. Maybe if I can type. So you can search for friends and you can search for everyone. Alright, that's weird, but it doesn't show groups or likes. Maybe if we do it this way. You notice there's, there's no auto-correcting in this keyboard. 
while I'm in this app for some reason. Okay, give it a second. There we go. There's the Pocket Now Facebook page. And there it is, and you can see the wall. Pretty good. You can comment. Oh. You can see the photos. Loading, loading. See how little dots are loading? Okay, I'm tired of that. And we can back out at any point. So that's uh, pretty much it for the Facebook app. The thing I'm really missing is the video upload, which uh, you know first appeared on Windows Mobile actually, as a mobile uh, Facebook app. But we're missing it in Windows Phone 7. However, this is a really cool Facebook app, a really nice interface. Looks really good. So it might be useful for uh, many of you. Anyway, that's it for now.